Hey guys, it's Asha. Welcome back to your reading with Toby. Today I have my July TBR for you guys. This month, I have no idea how this month is going to go. I am in the midst of studying for my board exam. If you guys have watched any of my recent videos, I've talked about it. I've been able to read books um, after I finished studying, so I think I'll be able to do both, but at the end of this month, towards the end of the month, I am moving, so that means I'm going to have to spend most of my time packing, getting ready to move, and all that stuff. So I'm not really sure what's going to happen with my reading. And I'm also in like a weird reading like place where I don't really know what I want to read. There's only one book for sure. Two books. Two books like for sure happening this month. The rest I'm kind of like, mm, we'll see. These sound good. I don't know. I don't know. All right, so let's start off with my TBR jar pick. If you don't know, I do this every single month. I'll link the video down below where I talk about it, but I basically put 12 books in at the beginning of the year and I do one book per month. These are just books that have been on my shelf forever. And I am currently reading June's TBR pick and it's actually pretty good. So let's see. I have two putbacks. I've used one. So, oh, I'm kind of scared. This one. Let's see what it is. Oh, I saw it. Okay, All the Light We Cannot See. All right, so All the Light We Cannot See by Anthony Doerr. This is the book. I'm actually really excited about this. This book made its rounds around booktube a, a long time ago, and I picked it up because of that, and I did start reading it, and I was loving it, but I put it down. I have this terrible habit of doing that with books that I love. I don't know why. Don't ask me. I don't know. But I will love a book and put it down and not come back to it. I, I don't know why. But yeah, look, I got to page 167 of this. And I kind of remember all the details, but I may or may not start it over. I'm not sure because I do remember a lot that happened. But this is a historical fiction. I'm sure most of you guys know what this is. This is historical fiction set in World War II in France. And you're following this young French girl who is blind and also a young German boy. And yeah, I remember I was absolutely loving it. So I cannot wait to read this. This is actually a really great pick. I'm super excited about this. So we have that one for sure happening. So the next book, I have been waiting for summer to read it. I read the first book in this series last summer. Absolutely loved it. it I think I said it was my favorite book last year that I read because I thought it was freaking amazing. So I'm super excited to read the second one. And that is Clash of Kings by George R.R. R. Martin. Ah, I'm so excited. So this is the second book in the Song of Ice and Fire series or the Game of Thrones series. Like I said, I read the first one last summer and I absolutely loved it. I like to read it in these little mass market paperbacks so that like I can just kind of bend it and take it with me and it doesn't really matter. Um, I honestly do not remember the second season of the show at all. I don't remember any plot points. <laughs> But so I think that'll make me enjoy it more because I literally have no idea what happens in this book. Um, yeah, maybe I'll remember as I read, but I'm super excited. I know that we get some different perspectives in this one than from the first book. So I am so excited, guys. You guys have no idea. I have been like waiting for this month so I could read this book. But yeah, super excited. All right, so the next book on my TBR has not come out yet. It comes out this month, July 14th. I have already pre-ordered it, so it will come to me in the mail. I'm definitely gonna read it. That book is Blacktop Wasteland by S.A. Cosby. Did I get that right? That's just, I don't know. You guys can see it here. <laughs> but yes, I'm so excited about this. This is by a black author, so one, yay. Two, this sounds amazing. It's a crime noir novel already excited and you're following this guy who is like known as an excellent getaway driver he kind of leaves that alone until he kind of reluctantly gets involved in this diamond heist i don't know and things just go crazy you guys should go read this synopsis because it sounds like an amazing action movie and i am so excited and also i love this cover i don't know what it is but books with like this kind of like old timey I know it's not that old, but like kind of vintage style picture with just text. I love those kind of book covers. Love them. So I am so excited about this. So excited about it. I can't wait. And then there is another new release um, coming out this month called The Year of the Witching, which is a witch horror novel. I don't know too much about it. I just saw that it was a witch horror novel. A young girl finds out that she has witch powers. I don't know. Horror. I'm down for it may read this one. This comes out later in the month. Um, I didn't pre-order this one because like I said, I'm moving. So I'm not sure if I'll have time to read it, but I'm definitely, it's gonna be on my eye and I'll probably, 
I'm probably gonna go to the bookstore and buy it, like, let's be real. <laughs> but yeah, if you guys wanna see some more new releases, especially by black authors, um, I made a video, I will link it down below for you guys if you wanna check it out. I talk about a ton of books that are coming out the rest of the year that I'm super excited about because I'm gonna be mentioning them from now on in the rest of my TBR videos because I'm su they sound so good. Right, so the next few books are ones that like have caught my eye on my shelf. I was kind of looking to see what I want to read. And the first one, I know I've mentioned this book a couple of times, but I'm definitely going to try my hardest to get to this book, Cersei by Madeline Miller. This is one of my five star predictions and I really want to get those books read before the end of the year so I can make a video wrapping it up. So this is one of them. It's one of my shorter ones on that list. I'll link that video down below if you want to see the rest of those videos. But yes, I know a lot of people love this. I know it has amazing writing. This is just a book, I mean, like I said, five star prediction. I think I'm absolutely gonna love it. And I love the shininess of the cover. It keeps catching my eye in the viewfinder. Anyways, super excited about that. So another book that I um, am thinking about getting to is Washington Black by Essie. Oh gosh, Edugan, I think that's how you say it. I love this cover. This is amazing. So all I know about this, you're following this little slave boy and this guy on this little machine comes and takes him away and they go on adventures. I think it has like a little bit more commentary on it, a little bit darker themes than I thought. I thought it was just like a fun little adventure story, but I think it does have some nice commentary, social commentary. So yeah, I'm so excited about this and I just love this cover. I have been wanting to read this book for a while, so I'm super excited about that one. Then the last book that caught my eye on my shelf as I was perusing is this one here. This is The Wanderers by Meg Howry. Ugh. Look at this cover, stunning. Oh my gosh, I love it. So this is a sci-fi novel and you're following, I believe these, um, this astronaut training to go to space. And you guys know, if you don't know, if you watch any of my videos, you know, I love anything that has to do with astronaut space, NASA, like I have an obsession. I geek out super hard about it. So this sounds right up my alley. I think it's supposed to be um, like more literary fiction. Um, I don't know, space exploration, everything, that's all I need to know. The cover caught my eye when I first heard about this book. So yes, I'm excited about that. All right, so those are all of the books that I'm thinking about reading this month. There is the reading rush happening this month as well. I think June, June, oh my gosh, July like 20th or something that week. And I don't know if I'm participating. I will do a TBR video if I decide to participate. It's just, it's literally the week that I'm moving. That always happens every single year. I want to participate in the reading rush, but there's all it always happens on a week when something like major is happening. So I can't ever participate. So I don't know. I don't know if I'm participating. I mean, like I said, I'm gonna be studying and packing that week and moving that week. So that's a lot going on. I don't know. We'll see. If I make it to BR video, then you guys will know that I'm participating in it. We shall see. So these are all of the books that I'm thinking about. We'll read some of them. For sure like these two and then the rest I'm gonna really try to get to this month as well as those new releases that I mentioned I know that's like a lot of books but it's good to have options so yes I hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know what you guys are reading or if you want to read any of these books and I'll catch you guys in my next one bye